I know people would expect me to ask you this uh, since you're so well known for uh, your spirituality, and you are one of my favorite spiritual authors. Um, where uh, did you most find God uh, in this experience of accompanying your mother in her last years? Oh, wow, that's a great question. <laughs> thank you for I think I thank you for that question. That's a, it's a hard one because I haven't... Um, you know, I think I found God most at the breakfast table. Hmm, what does that mean? Well, those were the best conversations I had with my mother, and somehow or other I felt like, you know, the Spirit was so present to us because of the deep sharing that we had. And uh, both my mother and I are pretty private people. And we had the best talks about death and dying and aging and about her history, you know, telling me about her, her early struggles. And, and somehow I, I just feel like a sense of the movement of God mm -hmm. among us Mm -hmm. I, I never, I haven't thought about that That's before. Beautiful. Yeah, but I really, I do think that. And then, the about three months before Mom died, I really experienced a movement of God within me. But I didn't know that's what was happening then. But I started hearing this song, soon, soon, the words for soon, soon, and very soon. And then I heard the the melody. I didn't know that song. I didn't know what it was. And I, I mean, it, would, it just kept coming back to me. I'd be driving somewhere soon, soon, very soon. And, or I'd be, you know, I'd wake up in the morning and I'd hear it. And I'd go, what is, you know, so I just sort of let it be. And after mom died, I came across the song accidentally. Mm -hmm. And it, it's a song about death. Soon, soon, and very soon, we're going to meet the king. And I thought, here was this divine presence sure. urging me, because I, I was really, all the conversations we had about death, I still denied that my mother was dying, and she knew she was. She mm -hmm. tried to tell me she was, and I just brushed it aside, mm -hmm. you know. Listen, thank you so much for joining us. It's been a delight to talk with you about your new book, Fly While You Still Have Wings, which I loved. And, um, I really, I want to thank you for writing the book because it was obviously um, something that's very heartfelt and very personal. I think it's going to help so many people. Uh, I mean, everyone gets old. Everyone has parents that get old. And uh, so we're all aging and we're all sort of moving towards that place. So thanks for joining us. Uh, on behalf of America Magazine and Ave Maria Press, I want to thank uh, Sister Joyce Rupp for joining us here at America House. Uh, we hope you uh, have every good success with this book. Oh, and thank you so much for your support, and I wish you the same with your wonderful books. I thank really you, my appreciate pleasure. it. Thank you.